What's up guys, Hong Nguyen here for OG Fitness. And in today's video, I wanna talk about the major differences in Judo and BJJ and how it came to be. Okay, so before I get started, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. It helps me out a lot, it helps grow the channel, so thank you very much for that. All right, let's get into it. So, this is something I have um, a lot of personal experience with because I did Brazilian Jiu Jitsu for about six years, maybe a little, bit, a little bit more, and then I transitioned to Judo, and I've been doing Judo now for close to three years, if not three years and a half, approximately. Okay, so, the difference between the two. Well, besides from the obvious, Okay, which is basically one is on the ground. Brazilian Jiu Jitsu is mostly focused on groundwork, and whereas Judo is mostly focused on uh, stand up, okay, takedowns from, from the standing position. So now here's the thing they actually, well, Ju Brazilian Jiu Jitsu actually has its roots in Judo, okay, for, for those of you guys who don't know. Um, so it was basically a judoka uh, from Japan, ended up in Brazil, taught the, the Gracie family, and then the Gracie family brought it to a whole new level. And they, uh, they evolved it on the ground. One of the reasons for that was that the founder of Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, he saw that since he was a little bit weaker and skinnier and more frail than, um, than, than his brothers who were learning at the same time from this judoka, uh, Matsuo Meida, that's the name. Um, so he had to adjust the techniques and uh, to make it work for you know the smaller, weaker opponent, which in this case was himself. So he adapted it, and yeah, that's you know it's a long story, but that's how it began, right? And then today, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu as we know it is very effective. It um, it's you have to have Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu knowledge of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu if you're gonna go in a cage and and fight. Right, and they actually like the Gracie families were the ones who started the UFC just to show that their their art was the most dominant one, and it was at that at that moment in time, right? And uh, now the game has changed. Everybody knows Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, and you guys you guys see it. Like if you don't have a adequate uh, knowledge and capabilities on the ground then you're going to end up losing uh, quite easily once you hit the ground. So, I digress a little bit there. That was a little bit of a history lesson. So, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu comes from Judo. Now, why, why are they different? Why is uh, a lot of things that you guys are going to hear that I've heard when uh, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu guys f like uh, rule for the first time against a Judoka, right? Is that the Judo guys go way too strong way too hard, they're all about like power, uh, they're all about using a lot of strength and they're, they're you know, they explode into it and they're, and they're like brutes, they're savages, right? And then the J Brazilian Jiu Jitsu guys are like, whoa, most, most of the time they're like, hey, what's going on, you know, calm down, blah, 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 shouldn't roll like that. And then to the judoka, the judoka is looking at this, this Brazilian Jiu Jitsu guy and he's like, the fuck you mean? Like he didn't say that, but he's thinking, the fuck, bro? This is normal. Like, what are you crying about, you little wimp? Right? Okay, now, the main difference here is, is the way uh, the competitions are set up. The rules of the competition. So the rules of Judo, okay, in competition, and the rules of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu dictate how these guys train and how they approach, um, how they approach their... Um, their, their art, their system, their attacking system, okay? So let's start with Judo. In Judo, you start standing up and like the whole point is to throw the guy on his shoulders. If you throw him, if you throw him hard enough with uh, good technique onto his shoulders, it's, co it's considered Ipan, which is uh, essentially a KO and you win the fight, okay? So that's the whole, like your whole objective. Now, if it goes to the ground, let's say you throw the guy, but he didn't land on both shoulders, so you're still, you have about, the judokas, they have about three to five seconds before they get stood back up by the, by the, uh, the ref. 
Now, if they're working and they're trying to, to make something happen in terms of submission or, side, or, or, side, or an immobilization, a side control or a full mount or whatever, then you know, let, the, the ref will let it go on. But I mean, as soon as it fucking stalls for like three to five seconds, okay? Either on one side or on both sides, boom, it's right up. And a lot of guys, they'll just like, fuck it. It's just too much energy to spend down there if they don't already have a, a um, how do you say, a follow-up right after they throw the guy on the ground. So what I mean by that is when they throw the guy, boom, they know that, fuck, they didn't get it. They didn't get the epon, and they keep going at it. They, they roll into a submission they ro they, they're tr or they roll into to side control and they're trying to immobilize the guy or submit him directly. I mean, most of the time we'll just like, okay, they'll just lie there and then just wait until the the uh, the ref lets them get back up. And that's pretty fast. And it even, it depends. And a lot of times it's very fast, but some, time, some refs are faster than others. Some refs, it's like two seconds and you're up right away. <laughs> and then some other refs, you're looking at them and you're like, whoa, dude, it's been five seconds. What the fuck are you doing, you know? So anyways, so that's why in judo, guys are very in a rush to just jump on you and submit your ass quick as soon as it like. So that's why when they come to a Brazilian jiu-jitsu school and they see the dude and okay, we, you know, they, they you know, they, you, 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 you fist bump, let's go, boom, they jump on the guy and they try to submit him because that's, so that's where it comes from. And judo, it's a sport where there's a lot of speed and power involved, okay? Whereas Brazilian jiu-jitsu, strength matters. Strength matters, but not necessarily, actually, if you have speed and power, then like you'll see like the top guys, that's how they dominate. They dominate because they have a lot of speed and power. But I mean, it's it's uh, the pace is slower in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu because also you have more time on the ground, right? So in Judo, when you when you hit the ground, either you work or you don't work, and you got, and if you don't work, you got about three seconds, five tops, right? Depending on the ref. Okay, so that's it. And in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, when you roll, it's it's like a five minute match on the ground. So I think it even goes up to. If you're a black belt or a, a brown belt, black belt, like the higher belts there in your division, then in competition, I think it's about nine or 10 minutes. Like, don't quote me on that. It's been a long time, so I don't really remember. So when you have time on the ground, you're not in a rush. You pace yourself, you set up, you go for position, then you go for submission, and so on. So it's much more, the pace is slower and you have more time to think. Okay, so you train that way too. You train to, you know, pace yourself, set up the guy properly, go for submissions only if you secure the position uh, so that, you know, you don't have to go, you're not going backwards, you know. You don't want to get to a position, a dominant position, lose the damn position, and then after have to work, like, again to go back and get a, get a, like, get a dominant position again before you can do the submission. So... Those are essentially why like the two are, 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 are very different, okay? So in judo, power, speed, you know, explosiveness. Now, these attributes are very useful for you in BJJ too, but in BJJ, you're not in a rush because you have time to be on the ground. You have time to set your things up, to, uh, you know, to... All kinds of things. You can think. You have more time to think. I know it might not seem that way uh, if you're when you're competing, but you know, of course, when you're competing, it's always the pace is always faster, right? So, but you do have more time, and you can stall. You know, you can block the the the, the fight. So you could like, let's say, if the the opponent is in your guard. You know, like you can, uh, you could either work or sometimes you could stall out or the guy that's in your guard, you could stall out a little bit, hang around, you know, keep himself really tight and so on. And the fight is still going on. Whereas if you do that in judo, boom, you get back up right away. So those are, those are the main differences. Why, like why judo players and, 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 and BJJ players have different approach to training, different speed, different pace. Okay, it's because of the rules, and and that's just it, you know. So, like, and I, there's a lot of judo, most of the time, what happens is that judo players will go into Brazilian jiu jitsu after they get done with judo, and you know, 
So they, they, they transition to, to, to Brazilian Jiu Jitsu because it's just fun and you know they learn the ground and stuff like that and they already have a really good basis. But rarely do you see BJJ guys, because usually BJJ guys start a little bit later in life. Well, now it's, it's becoming more and more where uh, the young kids are starting uh, you know, at a young age, like training in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. But generally speaking, Older guys who start BJJ won't transition after that to judo. Because judo, it's kind of... Um, what's funny about judo is that as a, it's seen as a, a sports for kids, right? So there's a lot of... Uh, the system is set up for kids. And then after that, to, to scout the ones that are very talented and then bring them, bring them, bring them into the, uh, the national team so that they could eventually uh, go to the Olympics. Where, and then after that, and the Olympics, I mean, these guys, they, they, by the time they're, they're 15, 16, like they've already, they're already black belt, they've done a shitload of competitions, and by that time, they're already in the system, okay, to be prepped to go to, go to the uh, national, like international level and then eventually to the Olympics. But after that, once they're in, they're in the Olympics, they're about like 20-ish and then the career is pretty much over. And if they don't make it to that level, then it's pretty much done. And in judo, there's not much place for adults. Like let's say you want to start a martial arts at uh, let's say 20, 25 and you're starting judo, it's kind of, it's, it's too late to go to the Olympics. And since their system is really based on finding the kids that are super talented and then bringing them to the uh, to the Olympics, okay, it's like there's no there's nowhere for these guys to go afterwards. And that's where Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, I think, shines. They're, they have a place, a system in place for people who are older, okay, and who want to do this martial art. And also, you guys got to remember, in judo, like the injuries are much more. Uh, I mean, there's injuries in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu too, but in, in, in Judo, it's much, it's different in the sense that like when you get older, if you haven't learned how to break fall and stuff like that, I mean, Judo is hard, man. It's hard on the body, right? For you to begin a little bit later in life. And it's also hard on morale because the thing with Judo is that it takes a fucking long time before you're able to actually uh, execute a beautiful throw. And then to be able to do it uh, again and again on, on people who are maybe not as advanced as you, right? But it takes a long time. It's not like in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu where uh, you don't have to worry about falling because you're already on the ground. But you could pick up a technique like, uh, uh, you know, it depends, everybody's different. But you could pick up the technique in about, um, holy shit, three months, six months and you're... You're whooping ass, man. Like some new guy walks in. Let's say you've been training Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu for six months and some dude walks in like a big muscle dude, you know, big guy, but does, has zero ground game and, you know, not that at, like you, not that athletic and not that, you know, has done any real combat sports. You're going to whoop him. Oh yeah, you're going to violate this guy on the floor. You know, you'll be all over him. You won't be able to do nothing. You'll feel like a girl. <laughs> A little girl, helpless, or a little boy, helpless, you know? But it's not the same with uh, judo. Judo, you could be doing this for, let's say, six months, right? And you're, start, you're starting to get a feel for it, but there's so many things that, so many aspects that you have to, that you have to integrate into your body and into your mind. I mean, it's crazy. You have to worry about your footwork. You have to worry about your hand position. You have to be able to move your arms, move your legs, your tour all at the same time, have the proper technique, off balance the dude, blah, blah, blah. So it's, uh, it's so many, so much information. So even after six months, right? I mean, you still don't really, like a new guy can walk in and you, you might not be able to beat him. He might be able to beat you. That happened to me a couple of times too. Like guys who just came in, but have, they came from other sports. Let's say uh, this one guy, I remember, he came from boxing. He had a big boxing background, and I think he did judo for like a couple of months when he was a, a young kid, right? And, oh man, he, he ragdolled me. And I was like, uh, I was blue belt. I still am blue belt, but he was a white belt technically, you know? But I mean, athletically, physically, he wasn't like really a white belt. And, you know, he's, he played fight a lot when he was younger, he told me and stuff like that. So, and he's a very athletic guy, so he has this, uh, this very... Uh, 
feel to it. He's able to sense things when, you know, uh, he's very tactical, very uh, kinesi, uh, kinesthetic, you know? So, I mean, it, what this guy, this guy was able to throw me around, to ragdoll me. And then after that, I figured out, oh, he's not there anymore. Unfortunately, he doesn't have time. But with time and with practice and with a lot of reflection, right, I was able then to understand my mistakes regarding this guy to, to fix my judo so that, you know, I'm able to, to, um, to counter uh, guys like this, you know, who are beginners, but they're super athletic and they have such a good sense of, uh, of, uh, of awareness of their body, you know, and of timing and, and they're fast. It's hard, man. It's hard. So, okay, this video is going on a little bit long, but I mean, uh, I don't think I would have been able to do it justice if I just kept it at five or 10 minutes. So that's why like these two sports, even though BJJ comes from judo, but I mean, it's, it's, it's completely different in the way, uh, in the rule set, okay? And also, I mean, how do you say it? Oh, another thing before I forget. One of the things that, uh, one of the reasons why I think BJJ also, like uh, the guys don't uh, work too much on their takedowns and they'll, they'll try to get to the ground as soon as possible is the point system. The point system favors you know, uh, doesn't doesn't uh, reward you that much to be standing up. Like the risk reward ratio is off. You know, like if you get a takedown, it's two points. It's not like if in judo, it's like you take the you throw the guy down and oh, you won. You know, instantly. So that's where when it's it's more like of course we have points too in judo, but not as it's not as complex. You know, um, so that's another reason why because of the rule set the the and and the point system and stuff like that, the differences between. Uh, judo and 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 Brazilian jiu-jitsu because of those different it's just the sport that's what makes it like the rules that's what makes these guys train very differently and have very different um, uh, strategic and tactical approaches to to how they go about things and so that's it man and I think that it's like since I'm a guy who does who who's done both of them I, I really appreciate both arts. I think that Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu uh, brings a lot to the table for the, for the Judoka and vice versa. Judoka also has a lot to learn from uh, BJJ. Oh, sorry. And BJJ guy would also have a lot to learn from uh, Judo guys too. Uh, they would just you know have to find the time to practice, which is a little bit more complicated. But... Anyways, that's it for this video, guys. I hope that was uh, informative. And so if you liked the video, then give it a thumbs up. Uh, leave, uh, leave comments what you think uh, down below. Subscribe to my channel, of course, and share this content. Sharing actually helps grow the channel faster. I just learned that uh, recently. And oh, click on the notification bell if you want to be notified of uh, all the videos that I make. I make at this point daily videos. And it's very easy, me, easy for me to talk about this shit because you know what? It's, it's all I really care about. <laughs> all right, guys. Thank you very much. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.